Hey Griffin, it's Saturday because I'm, you know, late with videos. Um, but so are you, so it's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm making a new video. I really liked your last video, so thank you for sharing. Um, you're working so many jobs. I didn't know about all your jobs because even if you do post them on Facebook, uh, you, you know I don't look there. Uh, Rachel tells me like some stuff, like stuff's going on with Griffin's life, but uh, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um, Sorry, my arms are tired already. I was working out yesterday. We're gonna say that's why. Um, but yeah, I really like that you are working uh, with a theater, the Actors Theater, which is a really uncreative name. But I like that you're doing more theater-like things and just being involved in theater and being around theater people. Um, I think they're good for you. I think that you get a lot out of that, so I'm happy for you. Um, speaking from someone who does not spend enough time with people who I think are good for me. Yes. Um, so, good for you for doing that. Um, and also your interior lighting freelance shop also sounds very, very interesting. And, you know, uh, a step up at Lucky is like, you enjoy working at Lucky's. That's great. Like, keep on keeping on. And, yeah, if your job at uh, the school uh, doing shows, <laughs> not shows, doing games isn't, you know, doesn't work out long term, like, uh, I get that too. Um, yeah. So, I'm happy that you're finding some fulfillment in work. Um, don't work yourself too hard, buddy. Don't work yourself too hard. Don't work yourself too hard. Don't work yourself too hard. Um, tired arm. Uh, also, Cloverfield Paradox. I know that you and I don't necessarily agree. Uh, my counter argument. It was a poorly written script. They just didn't write it well. I know, oh, it's a different dimension, and which dimension is which dimension, and maybe who knows, but things just didn't make any sense. They didn't try hard. Paramount made a movie that wasn't good, and they said, hey, Netflix, want to do a cool, fun thing, which I would say was a cool marketing idea, but, like, it was them trying to toss a bad movie onto somebody else, and, like... We can try to put it in theaters and see no one watch it, or we can have Netflix take it and we'll just get money and walk away. And they did, and then, you know, good for you, jerks. Um, also, uh, do I also miss that Netflix doesn't have more content for the... Rachel's, like, hiding right now, so she's not in the, in, in the, in the screen, but she's right here. Don't worry. She's here! <laughs> um... I also would love if there was more content from other places on Netflix. But you know whose fault that is? That's not Netflix's fault. They would love to have other people's content. Do you know why they have original content? F like, they're just flooding it with? Flooding their service with it? Because other providers are saying... Disney's saying, hey, we could work with Netflix, which is really successful and already has a big market. Or we can just do our own thing. So they're just making their... They're planning to make their own streaming service. Um, as is Warner Brothers for their DC properties, as is, uh, Apple. So, like, people are just doing their own things, and that's why, like, there isn't content for Netflix to, you know, keep licensing, so they're buying it themselves. So, I will agree, I think they have a wide spectrum of some of the best content out there, and some also really weak stuff. I think also, like, sometimes I think, I think also, like, some of their movies are just really weak overall. But, like, that is them trying to adapt to the situation they're in. So, like, get out their back. They're fucking trying. What are you doing? Screw you. Um, also, I didn't comment. So, oh, my arms are so tired today. I didn't comment on this a while ago. But uh, after I had my counseling appointment with what I'm going to say was my unintentionally racist counselor, uh, and I, and, and you responded with how to, oh, how, how do you know, you know, like, how do you describe how dark you are with your brother's joke about, uh, you know, use the toaster scale, racist, I'm calling you out, I'm calling you and your brother out, that's racist, yep, just sit there with that, that's not okay, um, but I'm so glad that I am going to make you a video and that you made me a video, um, I really like hearing from you. I miss you. You mean a lot to me. And I'm really looking forward to May when I will see you. Also, Rachel, aka Red, spoke with CJ today via textual messages? Apparently it's a thing your phone can do. Um, but CJ is still alive, thriving, still in Malawi. Um, 
I don't think he's going to be attending uh, Friend of Day 2K18, but we can definitely have a photo of him there, which is just as good. This is just as good. It's really not, though. Yeah, I think I think we're all going to miss just the energy that CJ brings to all things because I, I swear, maybe not in all situations, but at least when it comes to hanging out with friends, he is nothing but enthusiasm and positivity. And, like, I don't know situations that need less of that. Funerals? Maybe some funerals want less enthusiasm and positivity. Maybe. Not all. But some. Um, also, my top ten movies of 20... Rachel, calm down! They might not be free! <laughs> uh, top ten movies of 2017. I'm still working on it, okay? I'm still working on it. I haven't seen The Shape of Water. I haven't seen The Disaster Artist. I'm just letting them both go. But I'm still having a hard time. I've got, I've, I've narrowed it down to like 14, and it's just hard. There's a lot of good movies in 2017. So that's your next video. Get excited, handsome boy. Um. Yeah. Also, sad fun fact. So I have a different phone than I used to have. I also have a different service provider and all of that jazz. Um, but it means that I don't have the old photo of you in your suit playing Risk in uh, Cascade anymore to show people when I'm like, so this is what my best friend looks like. Uh, and that makes me sad. So I'll have to find that photo and put it on this phone so that I have it to show people. But I love you and you mean the world to me. And have a wonderful uh, Saturday. I'm going to love you too, Griffin. Also, Josie. That's Rachel. <laughs> <laughs>